Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Around 6 million Jews were killed between 1933 and 1945. About half died in concentration camps such as Auschwitz. The other half died when Nazi soldiers marched into towns in Germany, Poland, and the Soviet Union. They murdered people by the dozens. A new study by the Conference on Jewish Material Claims Against Germany shows that 58% of Americans think something like this could happen again. My producers were shocked by some of the stats. My producers, Melissa and Dory, they're millennials, a lot younger than I. We talked about this today. 41% of adults don't know what Auschwitz was. 41% of adults don't know. Does that, sh does that surprise you? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. Um, I think so many people are just concerned with what's in front of them. I don't think history holds the place that it used to. Uh, I, I think one of the big problems with our country is that people just aren't that interested in history and they're not interested in other cultures. Uh, I think we find that the Americans, for the most part, are traveling uh, less than ever before. 80% said it is important to keep teaching about the Holocaust so it doesn't happen again. Absolutely. I would totally agree. Any comment on the 20% who don't believe so? No, because who, who would that 20% be? You know, I, I, that, that 20, I'm, I'm not even going to get into that 20% because I'll get myself in trouble. You know, I used to think, I used to be incredibly optimistic and, and I used to be hopeful, you know, that everybody would at some point in time come to the same point where we love and care for one another. I'm not sure that we ever get there. Uh, I'm convinced we don't have time to wait for those people, though. Um, most of us tend to associate with people who are like us, who like diversity, who, who like uh, caring and loving, you know, other people. So I spend most of my time with that group. I, I tell people who don't know about the Holocaust, the same thing I, I, I say to people who don't know anything about black people, go find yourself a black friend. You know, go find yourself a Jewish friend. Perhaps we need to start by every day looking for somebody who doesn't look like us, doesn't sound like us, and say, hey, I see you, I care about you, I love you. I think you miss out a lot when you don't reach out to people who look differently and sound differently than you.